fresh out of the mailbox, Jacques Foss people reached out to me and they were like, yo, do you want to try out Vetivia Grease? I think you would like it. And I'm like, will I though? So we're going to be checking this joint out first impression together. Let's roll my motherfucking music. So we could check out Vetiver Grease from Jacques Foss and see if it's any good. <laughs> Blessing morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, c 3 a Yes, this bottle was sent to me. I will always give my honest opinion. I just don't care. Burn all the bridges. I didn't look up any notes on this fragrance. I just wanted to give it my usual first impressions. I'm gonna show you guys the presentation as, as it keeps the same energy as all the other Jacques Favre fragrances. It's a very clean presentation, black bottle cap. Who cares? We want to know about the juice, right? We're going to smell the juice. I'm going to give you my first impression and let you guys know if it's yay or nay and then go over some notes. I don't anticipate this is going to smell bad, to be honest with you. It's just something about it. It's telling me that it's going to be a pretty solid fragrance, but hopefully I'm wrong and it's going to be complete crap. Let's see. All right, we got two sprays of that Betty the Grease by Jacques Foth of Foth's Essentials. Actually, this is better than I thought. Oh man, it has, um, and this is actually way better than I thought. It's like leather vetiver, white floral. This is way better than I thought. It has kind of like a grease charnel-ish, bumped up citric vetiver vibe. This is, actually, this is really good. I went into this kind of reluctant, like it's probably gonna smell turdy or mezzish, basic, like blah. No, it's, this is actually pretty freaking good. I gotta try this on skin. That's surprising. Sup, I mean, shocking. Let me see, bro. This is shit. I gotta look up the notes in it. It's very, it's definitely Grease Charnel bumped up. Damn, this smells good in the air too. Wow. Yo, actually, this is pretty freaking good. It's very good. It's slightly sweet. You can smell the white florals. You can smell the vetiver, but the vetiver component is a little bit dry, slightly bitter, but it's kind of like sprinkling sugar on top of like a grapefruit kind of essence. There's definitely some sweet leathery kind of smokiness about this fragrance. And it also smells figgish, like earthy fruit. This is very nice, extremely wearable, signature scent style, scent profile. If it were to lean towards some sort of season, it'd definitely be more on the spring, fall, maybe late summer. It smells very nice on the skin. It actually smells of decent performance. Obviously, I can't judge performance on initial spray, but there's a nice sillage bubble. It's a nice sweet earthiness about it that's in the air that's very surprising. I need to look up the notes. This is actually a very nice surprise. All right, so the notes are listed as mandarin, essence, hazelnut, orange, bigard, bigared, bigared, neroli essence, Geranium essence, Madagascar, Galbanum, Iris, Vetiver, Java. Vetiver, Java, Vetiver, if I don't know what the hell. I saw for granted it has it in English. Hazelnut, bitter orange, mandarin orange, geranium, neroli, galbanum, iris, Java, vetiver oil, ja vetiver, and sinfonide. I don't know what the hell symphonite is, but whatever it is, to me, I'm getting, I guess I'm confusing the hazelnut with leather, but honestly, I'm getting more of a leathery fig, citric vetiver, dry, but slightly sweet. It's a very nice fragrance. I'm pleasantly surprised, more shocked than anything. Not that I thought that it was gonna be shit, but kind of did. No, realistically, I just thought it was gonna be a little bit boring and just kind of just another vetiver fragrance, and it really isn't that. It's a very nice scent profile. If I were to rate it on a scale of one to 10, on that Cubano difficulty, AKA one minute pizza review scale, I give this like a 7-1. It's very nice. It's very, very nice. Yeah, it's definitely a ball spirit. I like this joint. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'll put a link in the description. Shout out to Jacques Fath. I mean, I appreciate you guys sending me this joint, but I appreciate that you actually did a really nice job with this scent profile. Honestly, it might be out of this Fath Essential lineup, it might be the best one I've experienced at least out of that lineup. This is very, very good. If it's not the best one, it's definitely top two. So if you guys are into that Foth Essentials line, 
Vetiver Grease is definitely one I feel that you should check out. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart, and I'll see y'all stitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Pleasant surprise, I'll tell you. Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough rugger than Broadway, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's lost since you never get in. It's lost since you would think that you would.